Kira, <laughs> forget how funny you are. I mean, an award-winning personality. Oh, thanks, Mike. That means a lot coming from you. <laughs> <laughs> D, why the stink face, my friend? I'm sorry, can you see that? I'm trying to conceal my contempt for this implausible present moment. Lighten up, buddy. Jeez, what's wrong with you lately? You've been kind of heavy the past couple weeks. Trouble in paradise? Not getting any nani? <laughs> you know what, Mike? That's none of your business. But I'm glad that you have noticed my improper temperament lately, which has all been caused by this. And what might this be? Mike, I agree to train Karen because I was doing you a favor. This training process is supposed to be two weeks. It's been three months, and we're not even halfway through. I've got a task list that's sky high and growing. Not to mention, I'm behind on my personal pursuits. And to add insult to injury, you two come in here, laughing it up, wandering around carelessly, while I'm the only one in the office trying to get things moving along. Nope. He's definitely not getting any nani. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, would you please? Yikes! Down, Tiger. You gonna let him talk to you like that? Karen, you stay out of this. You've done enough harm as it is. Well, excuse the hell out of me. No, no, no. We are not getting into this here. Karen, do you need to take the day off to cool down? No, I don't need the day off. I need to get my work done. My office now. Mike, 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 Mike. I'm so sorry. I did not mean No to. worries, Kay. Just, uh, here, uh, take this. Take a couple hours off. Go grab yourself some lunch or something. I'll deal with this. Thanks. this <laughs> hashtag the future mrs and we hash brown brown <laughs> i'm reading what do you want you what i mean uh <laughs> you got any outgoing mail So, what are you reading? It's an autobiography of one of my favorite chefs. So, you're into cooking and stuff, huh? Yep. Well, have you heard of the amazing chef glorioso Neptune McNightingale? Of course I have. He's one of the most famous American chefs still living. You don't have to be into cooking to know who he is. Well, he happens to be my pops. <laughs> Hashtag Celebrity dad. Uh-huh, sure. No, seriously. I can even have you meet him if you like. And what's in it for you? Nothing. I mean, go out to dinner with me or something and we can call it a deal. So, so you're serious? Your dad is really Chef Neptune McNightingale? He's super famous, so why do you work here as the mail boy? Because I don't want to mooch off my father's success. I want to lead my own path. I guess it's very independent of you. All right, bet. I'll go out on a date with you, but after I meet him. Sounds good to me. Hashtag holla. Now, what the hell was that all about? Mike, really? Why would you hire someone like her? Whoa. What do you mean, someone like her? You know I have a no discrimination policy and no tolerance for it either. D. Are you upset that I hired her because she's black? What? No! Mike, she's incompetent. She knows nothing about this industry. We didn't need any more manpower in here as it is, so that addition was definitely worthless. I'll be honest, Mike. I'm perplexed and a little uneasy with your decision to hire her. Well, the decision's already been made. 
So all I can ask is that you try to adjust. Can I ask you? Why did you hire her? Where'd you find her? I didn't even know that you were taking interviews. <laughs> I wasn't. But Kay is and always has been a very sweet young lady to me. You see, Dee, Kay used to be my barista down at Buckstar's Coffee. For three years, I'd get my cup of joe there every morning and she'd be smiling with high spirits. Gosh, what a way to start my morning. She'd have my drink ready and my croissant warmed at 8 a.m. sharp. She's no stranger to hard work. And then one morning I noticed that she wasn't smiling so much and it hurt me to see her like that. So I asked her what was wrong. And she told me that she was being run under by the company. They were taking advantage of her kindness and she wanted out. So I told her to carpe diem, seize the day. She wanted a better job something more stable, see? But she didn't have many options because she never finished community college. And you hired her. Why didn't she finish school? She became pregnant. Pregnant? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's right. So she left school. She started selling coffee. And she's been doing that for years, just trying to stay afloat. So here I am, heartbroken, listening to this young lady's story. And I'm a company owner myself. So I thought, why not offer her a, a, a decent salary? You know, something more stable. It, it would help her out tremendously. So I did. Call me gracious, but damn it, I felt compelled. Pregnant? I didn't know that about Karen. Well... She may not know much about what we do here, but she takes public transportation to and fro every morning and still manages to get here on time and with a chipper attitude. I can't ask for a better team member than that. So now, I'm asking my best team leader to man up. Get it together. Go out there and get to know Kay. I guarantee you that if you did, it'd make this whole training situation a lot easier to stomach. I'm not kidding, he was for real. Yes, he's gonna be here any minute and he's gonna show me how to make some of his most famous recipes. I'm so excited. <laughs> he's here, uh, I'm gonna call you back. Okay, bye. Uh, what are you doing here and dressed like that? <laughs> I heard that the famous, amazing chef, Glorioso Neptune McNightingale, is going to be here this afternoon. Uh, how'd you hear that? Oh, please. I'm not going to miss out on the chance to mingle with the fabulous, rich, and famous. Get your life. Uh, you got to go. You weren't invited. <laughs> I'll get it. Uh, no, you won't. <laughs> Rude. Hey, Ty. Oh. And may I present the amazing chef, Glorioso Neptune McNightingale. You made it. Good afternoon, princess. You pretty little thing. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Boy! Watch. Oh, well, don't just have him stand out in the hallway for centuries. Come right on in. Uh, I'm sorry. He's my ex-neighbor. He was just leaving. I'm Armony, and I'm stunning. Great. Well, y'all do your thing, and I'll be over here on Twitter. I'm so glad you agreed to have this session with me. I, I could really use your expert advice on my long-winded forthcoming career as a chef. We cook first. Ask questions last. Right down to business, all right, I like that.
ain't nothing but a buck ass peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> How dare you insult the chef like that? This is a work of art. Mm. The time is come uh -uh. for me to go. It's been with great pleasure that I cook for all of you this evening. But I must retire these golden hands for the evening. Boy! Come in! Uh, thanks again for coming. I, I really appreciate you and hold the light. So, uh, tomorrow day, I'll pick you up for dinner. Sorry for blowing up earlier. Tell you what, how about you ditch that lunch bowl and go out for a real lunch with me? My treat? Did you say your treat? For sure. My mom said the two things you don't miss out on is a white person's yard sale and free food. <laughs> Great, I'll drive. So then, when I turned 13, my mom finally let me stop wearing plaits in my hair to school. Karen, when I asked you about your personal life, I didn't mean from the moment your mother conceived you. Oh, okay, my bad. There I go, running on and on again, I'm sorry. I guess what um, I meant was, uh, how's your family life like now? I don't hear you talk much about it. Oh, okay, well, my mom is back in St. Louis. I have one brother, he's transgender, so he lives in WeHo. Okay. I see I'm gonna have to be a little more specific. Um, are you married, Karen? Do you have any kids? Uh, do you have a boyfriend? Do you have any kids? Any pets? Any kids? No, no kids. None of that, actually. No kids? So you were never pregnant? Or you didn't have your kid? Okay, because I'm totally pro-choice here. No judgment at all. Mm -mm. Pro-choice? I'm anti-abortion. Okay, good, because me too. Oh, I how inconsiderate of me. I'm sorry. That means you must have miscarried. I, I did not mean to shed any light on your misfortunes. What? Mike said that you were pregnant, which is why you didn't finish community college. And, well, you said that you didn't have any kids, so I just assumed. No, no, no. Not pregnant with child. Pregnant with the idea to carpe diem. Carpe diem? Yes. I didn't want to have to be tied down and forced to finish school just because Uncle Sam said so. I wanted to be the best barista there was, and so I did. Yeah. Little did I know I burned out on my passion for selling coffee. But that job led me to the even better career that I have now. Carpe diem. Carpe diem. Carpe diem. So guess what? She failed at her life's passion for selling coffee. And sucker ass Mike got sucked right into it. So I've been training her for three months because she's an underqualified dumbass. I was this close to caring about her in some kind of way. Is this what you sit up and talk about all day? Why a W-N? Ugh, look, Mr. Darren, while you were hosting unsuitable lunch dates, Miss Ty Swiffer over here was spending the entire afternoon with who she thought was Chef Neptune McNightingale. Now you know that was an imposter, don't you? How you figure that? Girl, please, that fake ass accent, that cheap replica of a chef's jacket, and everybody knows that the amazing chef says point when he completes a dish. Not, voila, your ass has been swaying, dude. Huh. You know what? You're right. I know. He didn't even know the proper way to pronounce gourmet. 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 Thanks for hooking that up, Cousin Louie. I always knew you could like that dude would pay off in some kind of way. Now I got a date with time. <laughs> don't mention it, man. That's what family's for, right? Mm -hmm. Let me know how that date go, bro. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, So, needless to say, <laughs> your little lunch sabbatical is the least of Ty's concern. Why are you still here? Good question, Rusher Buff. <laughs> your little sour cataclysms might be contagious. I'm gone. Anyway, cut to me paying the bill. Thanks for lunch. I feel better now. 
I can't remember the last time a guy actually mm -hmm. bought me lunch. This is actually kind of good for us, you know, getting away from the office, getting to know each other. You're not as uptight as I thought. You're sweet. Yeah, we gotta get back. 